Okay, so the trinomials, we're always going to focus on the third number. List the factor pairs. And once you find one that adds to 23, and just be careful with the signs, it's positive, so this works. Negative four, three, and negative seven. Doesn't matter which one goes first, as long as you have both of them in brackets. Negative 19, I have 19, so I just switch the signs of both. I can switch both, I can't switch just one. So negative three, negative 16, multiply to a positive number and add to negative 19. Different squares, perfect squares. We're gonna look for perfect squares at the ends, which we have, we have a minus sign. Square root both. I'm gonna ignore the negative in the middle. I square root the ends. And don't be misled, one is also a perfect square. We just have to decide, okay, it's a binomial. We need one plus, one minus. The middle term disappears because we have one of each. Ignore the middle term. Now this one's a trinomial, so we have to have matching signs on both binomials. This one's negative. So both are negative. It's a perfect square, so I want to double check my work. Minus 20, minus 20, it adds up to negative 40. It works. And this one also is negative. If I check my work, 7 times 2 is 84. I get another 84, double it, negative 168, check. So square root both, it's a binomial, so I'm going to have 1 plus and 1 minus. So trinomials have matching, binomials one of each. Okay, so right away, GCF, I've got X's in both. I've got, oh, five goes into both. No, nothing goes into three and 13, but I can take out X cubed. I have four here, three here. I can only take out three from both. So my GCF, my final answer, Leftover 13x minus 3. This one we, here we have b's and c's. Definitely makes me think of GCF. 22 and 33. My b's, I have the identical b cubed, b cubed. And to save space, I'm going to take out one C. I can only take out one because there's only one invisible one there. So my final answer will be this in front, the GCF, the leftover in brackets. This one here, same thing, 34 and 6. 6 does not go into 34, but 2 does. Take out an x. I can only take out 1. Final answer, GCF in front. Like that.
And then this one, it's got four terms. So this is one of the ones we're gonna split in half and GCF both sides. It's 14X, 12X. This side, five goes into both. Don't forget this five has an invisible plus sign. And I'm taking this divided by two X is seven X, this divided by two X minus six. If you've done it right, you should have matching binomials. And the leftover piece is two X plus five. And I'm done. So the hard trinomials. Now I'm gonna use a shortcut for this one. I've got three and 13, they're both primes. I ignore the middle term. And if it's primes, I'm just gonna guess and check. So three has to be three X, one X. 13, it's only one or 13 or 13 and one. So let me try this one. So I'm gonna check three times 13 is 39, one times one, it does not work. And this is why you should choose pencil. So I'm gonna to switch to one and 13. I get 13, three, and it works. Three and 13, 16. So three X plus 13 is my first one. And the X plus one is my second one. Okay. More primes. So I'm trying to get 162, seven times 23, 161 plus one, it works. So seven X plus one is my first one, X plus 23, just like that. If you don't get it the first time, Erase your numbers, switch them up. 17 is prime. I've got three. And I can see right away, like they multiply the positive, but I need negatives. So I'm gonna make both of them negative. So if I do this one, I get negative 17, negative three, and I'm right on the first one, negative 20. So if the signs are wrong, just switch the signs. If the number's wrong, switch the place they're in. So my first one, seven, 17x minus three, x minus one. Okay, now these are all mixed up, so we have to actually think about what they are. Always go in order, check for a GCF then check if there's squares, then do the trinomial. The trinomial works for everything, um, but it's just that squares have a shortcut for those that do have it. So right away, GCF, there's nothing that goes into both. I see perfect squares. So careful, this is four, so the perfect square, or the square root is eight H squared. And we have to have one of each, one plus and one minus. So this one, there's no number, there's no X, there's no GCF then. So perfect squares, doesn't work. So I'm gonna list all the factor pairs. And because it's negative, but multiplied to a positive, I'm gonna switch both signs and find my answer. This one here, start with GCF, and I can see right away they're all even. If I look, three does not go into 50, but two goes into all of them. So, And now I see right away, perfect squares on the end. I 
So I've got 3x and 5. And the middle is positive, so both are positive. And don't forget, a GCF must go in front. This next one, it kind of looks like a difference of squares, but right away I see there's x's in both. So GCF, I can take out 7 from both, and I'm going to put 7 and x, take them both out at the same time. And then I'm done. 2x and 5, nothing goes into that. And this one. We're just going to multiply everything. And usually the two middle terms, the x and the x, they can go together. Do not combine the x squared, it's different. And we get our answer.